Hi everyone, I'm back again. This time I wanna try an alternative strategy to get perfect score by focusing on water damage. Um, yeah, I I I replaced Nicole EX3 with Sukiko because I know that not all of us have his EX3 right. And yeah, I bring Kaito best form equipped with Galvana Lilies, Treasure Memorial Ring for auto filling moral gauge and then first rate treasure hunter for charm immunity um, you guys can obtain this material from adventure look okay and this is his dressive build scanning googles and lilac flame kimono for stun killer photon core for ripper killer um, you guys can replace Thief of the Night Materia with um, All you need is Strength Materia or Chow Materia, STMR mm, With Shizuru Vision card Kaito only has Stone Killer 275, Reaper Killer 250% LB Damage only 275 And I bring Shukiko Best form equipped with Empress Celestate Road Plus Galvana Lilies, Crescent Moon Charm for Charm Immunity from um, a Valencia's Tifa, and this is he, her Brassive build. Um, yeah, she has E4 damage, S4 damage, and LB damage 300%, guys. And next, Storm Seeker Esther with um, Ruler Celestite Chain Mail, Magister Celestite Sinner of Will. Okay, um, you guys can put GF extension material on this empty slot, so her attack point should be more than 9000, right? And I bring Lilith. Mm -mm. Yeah, this is not her best in slot build, but I hope I hope I can still cap damage with this squad with her premium vision card and I bring Samurai Chizuru best form and Brassive form has same gear but not on Brassive uh, not on material slot best form equipped with first red treasure hunter for some immunity and Tabata spirit but on Brassive form I replaced them with undead killer plus and code of the samurai with KOG Vision card, my last unit is Paladin Sylvie with um, Conductor's Baton, Galvana Lilies, yep, board form equipped with same gear. Alright, I think that's all. Um, let's give it a try. So Kaito on on first turn cast um, Deep Summersion Plus Destabilizing Form. Uh, yeah, okay. And Shukiko Shift to Aggressive Form. Cast um, Blessed Omamori and Solar Flare. Lilith cast Enchanting Seductress. Kiss of Rapture and Kiss of Betrayal. Shizuru cast Strong Samurai Spirit to fill more gates. Breezy Barrier to remove Earth and Dark Imperial. Focus Spirit for Magic Mitigation. Esther cast Molting Slice. Um, Sylphie's gonna cast Compassion at Night, Burgeoning Defense, and Elemental Petals. Okay. Okay guys, 
um, this turn Kaito will cast Aquaeus Infusion to imbue himself with uh, water element and then Deep Summersion plus Destabilizing Form to fill more gates um, Lilith cast um, Enchanting Seductress no 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 um, just Kiss of Rector three times Sukiko sit back and just cast triple prayer of purification. Chizuru cast um, Eastern Winds to Imperial Katana Resistance. Stun Samurai Spirit and Focus Body for Physical Mitigation. Um, Esther cast Limit Burst to activate area effect. Um, okay. Sufi. Sylvie is gonna cast. Yeah. Okay. Kaito will cast um, Deadly Stream and Natural Flux to break defense and spirit by 90% and then Deep Summersion Plus Lilith cast um, an Unending Nightmare to, to boost um, Stun and Ripper Killer by 150% and then his of Raptor. Um, Chizuru this turn cast Stone Pulverizer. Shukiko keep casting Prayer of Purification. Esther. Yup. And now Sylphie shift to aggressive form. And then cast. Um, Limit burst, I guess. Okay, cast the limit burst. Yeah. Um. Although on on turn three, I can reach two hundred percent more gets by I couldn't. Um. I couldn't kept damage on turn 4 because um, if I I do that uh, my my moral gain point will not maximum so I, I still need to keep it on turn 5 guys so this is final setup uh, Kaito shift base uh, shift back I mean and use pure liquid infusion to imbue a light with water element and then swelling current for water amplifier tranquil flow to fill more gates and then Lilith will cast bark dark jar enchanting seductress and shroud of spirit yeah Shizuru cast Tevas of Spirit, Esther cast Calm Before the Storm and Bolting Slice. Sylphie is gonna cast Cracket Stone to Lilith, and then I've got Chow back to Chizuru. And um, I will cast Paladin's Defense for Mirage. Yeah, 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 yeah. 
for it guys so let's try to get it Kaito and Shizuru cast Brassive Limit Burst and then Tsukiko shift to Brassive Form and cast um, Shining Karmic Retribution Lilith cast Super Limit Burst Esther cast Limit Burst um, yeah. Here we go guys Okay, nice Cross 50% threshold And um, I will use um, Rise Magic to beat the Crumblier this turn Select target and click the Crumblier Here we go Let's see how many billions I deal. Okay, nice. Two point eight billion, guys. Awesome. Without Nicole EX3. Woo. All right. Anyway, you guys can replace um, Sukiko with um, Olive. I I already tried it, and it works. Okay, let's see their damage details. Nice. Lilith and Shizu um, have almost same damage, but I, I can say that Lilith is far more better than Shizu because what? Shizu got LB damage 300% from Sylvie, right? And with higher attack, um, 11,000. So Lilith is more powerful here. Okay guys, um, thank you so much for watching. I hope this strategy can work on you. Um, have a nice day. See ya guys.